Batman, happy Batman. But it's now time to talk about the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know how he does that voice, but I gotta give him props. Alright, so anyway, Batman Begins. Batman Begins is pretty much the origin of Batman. How he begins, as you will. And I gotta say, after Batman and Robin, and don't worry, I'll review those movies when I have the time. This movie was indeed a breath of fresh air for Batman. It's much darker than that piece of shit was and it really is in every sense of the word a true batman movie so this movie actually is split into two plots one plot for the first half of the movie and then the other plot for the second half of the movie the first half is obviously about the origin of batman which i have to admit when i first saw this movie i was i had the same problem with it like i do with the amazing spider-man we don't need an origin story we know Batman's origin story, like Spider-Man's, is so famous that we shouldn't have had a movie explaining the origin. But then after re-watching it, and thinking back to the Tim Burton movie, I thought, you know what, Batman's really never had an origin movie. And so, that's it. Basically, the first half of this movie is how Bruce Wayne became Batman. Go into more detail about it, which is really fascinating to watch. And then the second half of the movie involves Ra's al Ghul, played by Liam Neeson, uh, planning to spread fear and panic throughout Gotham with uh, this po this gas he developed with the guy who eventually becomes Scarecrow. Alright, so the acting is really good. While I don't think Christian Bale is um, the best Batman, mainly because of his voice, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, he does make the best film interpretation of Bruce Wayne. You really become attached to the character in the first half of the movie. And to see him become Batman, what he went through his life, how he learned, it's all really, really fascinating. The supporting cast is really good too. Both Michael Caine and Gary Oldman give the best Alfred and Commissioner Gordon performances in film. Liam Neeson is threatening as Ra's al Ghul. Did I say that right? And Morgan Freeman is entertaining as Lucius Fox. Now, the movie's not perfect, though. There are a few flaws. I don't think Katie Holmes is very good. Uh, Scarecrow kind of went out on a whimper. But then again, it's not about the villain. It's about Batman. And I thought the, ed the editing in the fight scenes was awful. Probably one of the worst edited fights that I've ever seen in film. But that's just me. In the end, it's a really, really good movie. And the perfect kickstart to... A great series. So four stars is my rating and I will see you guys when I review its successful follower. Bye.